So um, I'm Ryan Stegman, uh, formerly the artist of um, Venom and King in Black and Absolute Carnage and, you know, Superior Spider-Man over at Marvel, lots of other stuff. I've been there for, oh, like 15 years now um, doing stuff. And uh, this is my first time doing something with Image besides doing some covers here and there. And so we're here to talk about um, Vanish uh our new creator own series me and donnie cates the same team that brought you um venom um and yeah looking forward to it so donnie and i knew all along that when we were doing venom that you know at some point we wanted to do well once we kind of got to know each other and really enjoyed working together we wanted to do a creator own so i would say like you know year one um the end of year one with uh vanish or with uh venom i think we started talking about doing a um creator owned and you know, over the, that time, we had several different ideas and we'd start fleshing them out and they would kind of get to a point where we'd be like, I don't know if this one's really working. Um, and then the idea for Vanish came up and um, it kind of clicked right away. And we were able, you know, it's one of those things where you start spitballing ideas and then uh, all of a sudden it's just coming together. It's really like Harry Potter meets uh, the boys and meets Inglorious Bastards. Like it's it's got all those elements. Um, it's sort of the you know the chosen one story gone wrong. What happens to the chosen one after they you know they they've succeeded as a child essentially, and uh, it's kind of like you know um, the the chosen one is now all grown up and he's he was a child star and his life's all kind of messed up now and um he is out for revenge for the people that you know caused him to go through this as a as a child and um you know there's a lot of psychological drama in there um where you know it's it's unclear who's the good guy and who's the bad guy and and uh you know all the all the the emotional venom type stuff that donnie and i do um is is here in this book as well i think that you know i tend to feel like everything that i do is the next the next thing i do is better than the last but um this one i really feel like i took it to another another level we can't you know i mean it took us a little while to get to the four issues i'm uh, it, it takes a while to get started on something like this and then by the time i was cooking you know and like now we're really moving but uh i am um I really took my time on it on the first view and and I think it shows. I I was so inspired by all of the early image stuff as a kid and all I remember is those, you know, those eye popping first covers where you're like I've never seen this character before but you know that's I have to have that. And so when I was going into designing uh this book, the first the most important thing to me was Oliver Harrison who is the main character finally felt like I kind of found something with the sort of military cloak um, that he's wearing with the, you know, I, I, I demanded a, a mask. Uh, <laughs> I always uh, like characters to have masks. You know, it's essentially a, you know, Dr. Strange type um, cloak, but then he would, he has it sewn up in front. Um, and, you know, then the, the white um, piping on the the cape is, um, you know, sort of the, just a British military uh, kind of thing because we. The idea is they that he he was at this school when he was a kid, and we really lean into the fact that it was kids being trained to fight in a war. I think that we've kind of hit on something that that actually is pretty timeless and, you know, um, cool looking. And then you know we have Baron vanishes our big bad, and you know he's got spider legs on him. And, just all kinds of crazy stuff that I've wanted to draw for a long time that I'm finally getting to mess around with. You know, Donnie uh, always says that he wants to write Donnie Cates comics, which is kind of an interesting uh, take. So I would say it's it's just in that, that realm of t the type of stuff that he and I do. On issue one, for example, we have, uh, I did two covers. There's a, a cover that is a team shot of a superhero team. Now, you know, that's not all that it appears to be, um, which you'll find out when you read the book, but um, that was definitely inspired by um, Wildcats. I wanted like a cool looking new team that you'd never seen before. Um, you know, well, Wildcats, uh, you know, also Youngblood, um, but th that's just visually, like story-wise, you know, we're very inspired by 
um, you know, books of magic, uh, a lot of Sandman type stuff, you know, and there's a lot of um, personal, personal stuff from Donnie in there that I really think uh, brings it all together.